This video is uh, demonstrating the patient interview and the role of the technologist during the IVP procedure. Prior to the beginning of the exam, the tech will ask the following to get the patient's history. Uh, so, Ms. Katie, do you have any allergies? I do not. Okay. Any medications? No. Any surgeries? No. Um, have you done this exam before? Never. Are you diabetic? I am not. All right. Next, the technologist will take a scalp KUV, uh, then take to the radiologist before proceeding with the exam. Immediately after contrast administration, the tech will set up for a nephrotomogram, which consists of three projections at different fulcrum levels. Tech will measure the patient halfway between xiphoid tip and iliac crest to determine the three fulcrum positions. <clears throat> Tech will place a 10 by 12 IR crosswise with the right marker at the bottom of the cassette and a number indicating the fulcrum level at the bottom middle of the cassette. Tech will set a KVP 15 MA and 2000 milliseconds. Technologists will now get breathing instructions. Deep breath in, blow it out, and hold it out. B. Next, the technologist will perform a five minute KUB. He will use a 14 by 17 inch IR lengthwise with the right marker in bottom corner. The central ray will be centered at the level of the iliac crest and mid sagittal plane. Technologists will set technical factors at 80 kvp and 25 mass. Technologists will then give breathing instructions. Deep breath in, blow it out, and hold it out. Deep breathe. The next projection will be a 15 minute nephrogram of the kidneys. The patient will remain supine. The technologist will place a 10 by 12 IR crosswise in Bucky with right marker in bottom corner. He will then set a SID of 40 inches and center the central ray at the mid sagittal plane and at the level of L1 and L2, which is halfway between xiphoid process and iliac crest. The technologist will set technique at 80 kvp and 25 mass. And then the technologist will give breathing instructions. Deep breath in, blow it out, and hold it out. Deep breathe. Next, the technologist will take a 20 minute LPO oblique position at 30 degrees. Tech will place a 14 by 17 IR lengthwise in Bucky with right marker in bottom corner. He will then set an SID at 40 inches. He will center at the level of iliac crest and two inches lateral to mid sagittal plane toward the elevated side. He will then set technical factors of 80 kvp and 25 mass. Then the technologist will give breathing instructions. Deep breath in, blow it out, and hold it out. Be free. Tech will then place the patient in the RPO position of length at 30 degrees. This will demonstrate the right kidney and left ureter, uh, as opposed to the LPO position, which uh, demonstrated the left kidney and right ureter. The tech will center at iliac crest and two inches lateral to the mid sagittal plane toward the elevated side.
the tech will set a technique of 80 kvp and 25 mass then he will get breathing instructions deep breath in blow it out and hold it out be breathe The technologist will then take a 20 minute KUV. He will position a 14 by 17 IR lengthwise with right marker in bottom corner. He will have the CR centered at the level of iliac crest and mid sagittal plane. He will then set technical factors of 80 kVp and 25 mass. The technologist will then give breathing instructions. Deep breath in, blow it all the way out, and hold it out. Be breathe. And lastly, the tech will take a post-voided bladder shot. With the patient supine, the technologist will place a 10 by 12 uh, crosswise with right marker in bottom corner. He will set an SID of 40 inches. He will set an essential ray two inches below the ASIS and at the mid sagittal plane. The technologist will then set technical factors of 80 kVp and 25 mass. The technologist will then give breathing instructions. Deep breath in, blow it all the way out, and hold it out. Be free. And this completes the overhead projection of the IVP.